wow this is the aew mix weekend and of course i had to have the uh champion up here you know uh i don't think she's ever gonna lose she's almost 40 wins in under three years i mean jade what what's up man like is anybody ever gonna defeat you yo what the hell's going nobody on nobody yeah oh i mean at point we're going for 50. let's do it <laughs> You going for the Floyd Mayweather numbers, man? Like what the? I, I am. I you see the connection there, don't you? See. <laughs> <laughs> G- give me, give me a one on one on the uh, on the beginnings, man. How did you link up with Tony, like Tony Khan, man? Like I, I... I have a mutual friend that actually knows Tony Khan. So I didn't prior to this. I had no experience in wrestling at all. I went to a tryout at the WWE, and I had a same opportunity here at AW, never met Tony Khan, but the mutual friend that I have was like, hey, like, I know the owner for AEW, you should try this out. And I went there and I practiced with the girls. It felt calm, relaxing. I didn't feel like I was walking on eggshells. And then wow. here I am out here kicking ass and I had my debut match with Shaquille O'Neal. And I don't think I would have had a better start anywhere else. So Shaq was the callus that started everything, huh? Like what? Yes, yes. He's so sweet, so down to earth, was easy to work with. Honestly, he was a great motivator for me to show up and show out because I was like, you know what? I'm about to debut with Cody Rose and Shaquille Mm O'Neal. Like people are going to tune in for these two people, especially Shaquille O'Neal. So I was like, at this time, I need people to know who I am because the match was for me. So I was like, at this moment in time, I need people because Shaq is going to go. I need people to stay to watch me kill it here at AEW. So for to work with him and how kind he was and how respectful he was, it was an eye opener, just how much star power, you you know, just how star power works in general. I mean, he's worked with Biggie. I mean, you 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 got like a super legend with Kobe, like this guy won like yeah. Randy. So I see the energy. You you only deal with people that are champions and what they do. Man. So oh. <laughs> people that can level me up like again he was just and you know he was so cocky I remember I was like listen don't embarrass me before he went out uh, for the match <laughs> and he looked at me so disgusted and he said excuse me this is my world don't you embarrass me like they gonna love anything I put out <laughs> and I was like at that moment I was like what but at, he's right he's right he should kill Neil he's a personality anybody's gonna love anything that he he shows to the world so i was like okay well all right i hear what you're saying but like let me show you how to do this <laughs> you know uh ever since uh <laughs> i went on uh aew i told snoop to check out you know uh your bout with, with trina so speaking of the you know you are the baddest you know and you're that bitch so it, it just made sense to like for trina to like betray you know uh <laughs> yeah diamante i mean for her to betray her it made a lot of sense but the the choking the the, the choke push I, I never saw that move before man what did she learn how to do that man? is that is that new in wrestling the choke i push? guess diamante showed her that but you know what it was a setup the entire time we know what it was i mean i'm that bitch she's the baddest bitch i mean it was obviously a connection there we looked at each other in the eyes and we already knew what it was without even saying a word but i don't know what diamante taught her i I mean, it is what it is. And if that ain't taking her out, then obviously I was gonna have to pick her up and put her back down again. I remember like just being in the room with, it was you, it was fabulous. It was her after everything. It just, the room felt so amazing. It felt like it was so much love. Mm. And so when you feel love like that, it's just organic. Like everything is just, it just pours, you know? So the energy was just pure. Like I'm up here with Trina, you know, I used to rap her song growing up. I'm from Florida myself. So I felt like I was just putting on for the home team in general, even though Diamante was from 305. At the end of the day, uh, we're from Florida. So I represent Florida as well. And just the energy and the love that she gave and the love that you gave and the love that Fabulous gave and the love, just the the room, it felt so good. It Mm. felt so good to have the culture there and to represent for our company. I'm just glad that we came at that historical moment, like Arthur right. Ash Arena, twenty thousand, like screaming fans, like oh my god, it, it was one of those nights I will never forget. Well, like I said, Snoop watched, you know, everything we were doing, and she, he was like, "Yo, man, I wish I could get her to bring me my cake for my birthday, man." That's like one of his bucket lists. I was like, 
Maybe I'll bring it up to her. I don't know. You're a busy person, man. You're everywhere. You're on, you're on social media. You, I mean, you kicking ass every week and training. Like, I don't know. Is that is is that a bucket list uh, for Snoop that could be fulfilled? I don't know. Maybe we could we could figure that out. I don't know. Maybe he's a legend. I mean, it would be an honor. I mean, if listen, you can hook it up. If anybody can hook it up, you can. Speaking of physicalness, man, I, it's been a while since I've seen somebody like at your caliber of like. You're like 100% or more, I should say 110% in body form. I haven't seen like a female wrestler like you in a long time. Like, you know what? I think because I don't, maybe this is totally wrong. So I had a life before wrestling. Like I was a, a female athlete, a collegiate female athlete. I played basketball, went overseas, played basketball. Um, I became a mother. I'm a child psychologist. Like my spouse, he plays baseball. He played baseball. So like I seen him in the fame and all that stuff. So I know what I have. Right. So I'm very humble. Like I'm very grounded. I'm very chill. And I know when it's time to act up and I know when it's time to wild out and I know when it's time to be seen. I know myself and I think I just don't let the hype get to me. I mean, is, is it because, you know, your trainer is like, you got Dustin Rose, man. Like, that's crazy. Man. I used to watch, used to watch yeah. him back in the days. Man. I know he's the head trainer at AEW, but, like, to have him. And I think you got Brian uh, Danielson, too. That, that, that That's my yeah. mate. Yeah, that's my yeah. trainer. He is, oh, my. And you, I think, this is a guy who has crazy star power. I mean, mm. he's on reality shows. He did his thing over at the other company. Just to work with him is just amazing. I'm working with the, one of the number one guys as far as technical wrestling um i'm working with chris jericho as far as my promos like Sheesh. tony khan has my back i mean i have everything i have a dream laid out for me and this is something that i never woke up and wanted to be it came wrestling found me mark henry is like my father in wrestling and mm. he's a hall of famer and people look up to him he's for the culture culture 120 percent you know I have everything that is needed to succeed in this business. I mean, what's next? You gonna bring Cardi B out or something? I, I mean, I, man, I listen. If she <laughs> pops out, if she pops, listen. I am a huge listen. I listen to her and all. I listen to her songs to get pumped up. Between like it's songs like that, like Doja Cat, Cardi mm -hmm. B. Like I listen to songs like that to get me pumped up because I'm that bitch, right? So I need to listen to music that's going to make me feel empowered and like just I'm going to go out there and kick ass and, and own everything I touch. And her music does that. Which I think she retweeted Trina. I was just like, I know they're not talking about me, but like, <laughs> listen, like uh, you see me. So, you you know, like you've at least seen me and, and that and, stuff. and she's a wrestling fan. So. If Cardi B wants to pop up on, on my show, uh, that bitch show, TBS, yeah. on Wednesdays at 8, I would love that. Yo, she got to wear that freaking belt, man. Can you imagine Cardi B coming out with your belt, man? Oh, I wouldn't God. Listen, listen. Here, yeah, girl. You want to hold it? You can hold it. But and I, mean, I don't let people touch my belt. I don't let people hold my belt at all. Jada Farmer in quick roll up. And, oh, there's the pump kick. How many, um, how many titles is in AEW? Are you going to win both? Like, both? women titles isn't it two and there's the a world women's title i mean women's division is two it's two it's the tbs network belt and that's the one i hold i'm the first to hold it mm. and uh the one other one is the women's title which is held by the intermediate uh, champion tony storm right now because thunder rosa is out um with an injury so i mean look i'm two years in the game i think it would be a total like disrespect if i just go for both belts and get both belts right now so Ooh. i'm just gonna give these women the time and grace to do their best until i decide that i want to go for the other belt so <laughs> honestly it's on my time let me just give them grace and give them time to get yourself together and get a little shine they need because <laughs> once i take over it's done. Everything's on my time and I'm just relaxed, chilling. I'm enjoying this belt right now. I'm building it up and making it special, more special than the main belt right now. And that's my goal. Uh, it's obvious you're inspired by Storm. Uh, you know, uh, is it is it the character or is it Helly Berry? I mean, I, 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 you know, I got Helly Berry on my back. I got her face. Uh, really? 
Yeah, like I was in love with her in uh, uh, one of the movies where she showed her titties or whatever. But that, that's 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 just me. That. Mo- Monsters Ball. Monsters yeah. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, it was a uh, swordfish. When when when. Oh, when, okay. What did yeah. Monster Ball? She showed something that, too, that, right? That was with uh, Bob Thornton when they were going crazy, crazy. like you know. Yeah. No. But, yes. Did she show a boob on that? Yeah, she was uh, getting smashed up by Bob Thornton. That was kind of crazy. Uh, yeah. It was a... yeah. <laughs> but me, hey, I, th- I, I think that's the one she got paid a lot of money though to do. Hell yeah. You know? paid- so uh, how how we looking for the future, man? Like uh, who who's next? Who who's coming at you in AEW, man? Like you know. I think that's everybody's question and let me answer it it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter i'm gonna do things on my time if i want five minutes i'm gonna give them five minutes if i decide if i'm seven i might give them seven it depends on it's more so like what can they do for me because i'm out here handing out jobs i'm handing out opportunities i'm getting people signed our owner sees them working with me and they're like all right maybe they got it maybe they got it maybe they can work maybe they can do this so i'm giving people jobs and whomever wants it they can get it Cause I got it. <laughs> yeah, I love you, man. Yo, you, yo, you, you're not playing any games on you, man. No, not at all. Like this is my baby. Like, and yeah. when I decide to go for the main, but I'm not playing no games with these girls. Not at all. I'm two years in. I am killing it. Like, I am up next, and it's undeniable. 